You are welcome to Cup of Faith of Yaba Baptist Church, Lagos, with the church pastor, Reverend Dr. Bayo Shola Aremu. God bless you as you listen. A beautiful morning to you in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It is a new day and a new week that leads into a new month. May you experience the newness of life as you travel the path of the new week in Jesus' name. For our devotion today is the topic, Give God All the Glory, where the text is Psalm 29, verses 1 to 2, saying, Ascribe to the Lord, you heavenly beings, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength, ascribe to the Lord the glory due His name. Worship the Lord in the splendor of His holiness. Hallelujah. According to today's text, ascribing all the glory to God is an imperative and the simple reason is because God is the God of glory. All glory belongs to Him. Thus, it becomes an act of robbery to take what belongs to God and either personalize it or give it to another person. As human beings, we easily fall into the temptation of taking credit or praising ourselves or another person for something that God has actually accomplished. Each of us, in our pride, struggles with this temptation every day. Our spirit longs for recognition and appreciation. We want others to think highly of us and to praise us for our accomplishment. Sometimes our impatience as humans and more particularly as Christians, gives room for other lesser gods to take the glory that belongs to God. Many people approach alternative sources to get help, but they come to church for thanksgiving. I once shared the story of a young man stung by a scorpion in the night. The pain was so severe that he couldn't sleep through the night. In his pain, he kept on praying unto God. However, The following morning, some of his friends introduced him to a Muslim cleric known as Afar. They claimed that the Afar is an expert in removing personal substance from human body. Truly, the man came, rubbed onion on the spot, mumbled some words of incantations, and the pain subsided. The big question here is who receives the praise and who takes the glory? God. Or the afar. There are those who are beneficiaries of God's mercy and grace, but they claim the glory for themselves. Such people believe so much in themselves that they attribute their success to their brilliance, smartness, academic attainment, social status, and much more. This attitude is demonic and ungodly. Beloved of God, as this month terminates today, It is imperative that you reflect on the goodness of God and give Him the glory for everything that transpired in the course of the month. Don't make the mistake of ascribing God's glory, praise, and honor either to yourself or to another man. In Isaiah 42 verse 8, God Himself says He will not share His glory with any man or His praise with any idol. Since you are created for His glory, wants to take absolute glory over your entire life. Therefore, reserve it all and only for Him. I pray for you today. May the Lord bless you this week and envelope you with mercy and grace. As you patiently wait for God, you will receive divine visitation in the name of Jesus. As this week closes the month of October and opens the door for a new month, may this same week terminate your sorrows and usher in a new dawn of great surprises. The enemy will not take glory over your life. May the Almighty God glorify His name in your life this week. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Do have a lovely day and a blessed week. Christ is the answer. 
We believe you've been blessed by the message from the throne of grace. For further inquiries, prayer, and counseling, kindly contact 0907-799-6648. That's 0907-799-6648. The church is located at 19 Stroke 23 Commercial Avenue, Raymond Street, Sabo, Yaba, Lagos. We meet on Sundays by 8 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. and on Wednesdays by 6 p.m. Join us same time right here on Every Other Day. Christ is the answer to all human needs. Thanks for listening.